Ooh, this like soft glow light, I'm like. I don't know how to pose. All right, well, say goodbye to this lighting because we're gonna do a real lighting setup now. Yeah. In case you are wondering, my mug says Santa Claus because it's a kitty with a Santa hat. Get it? Hey y'all, welcome to Maddie Pants. So, I have this ad that will not stop following me. I see it on Facebook. I see it on my Instagram feed. I see it on my Instagram stories. That's about it because those are the only two social media platforms I use. But still, it will not leave me alone. I mean, I see it at least once a day, if not like five times a day. And this ad is for the somewhat bougie nail polish brand, Static Nails. Now to be fair, I have clicked on this ad and I've perused the website probably like 15 times. Because I'm an indecisive person. But it really piqued my interest because Static Nails claims that their liquid glass lacquer, that's what they call their nail polish, is a breakthrough formula loaded with rich pigments and natural antioxidants for a healthy manicure that actually lasts up to 10 plus days without chipping. I'll believe it when I see it. But wait, there's more. In a comprehensive study, 100% of participants saw three times longer wear compared to other leading brands. Now that's a claim. Now I can't get a regular at-home manicure to last me more than two days, let alone 10. So naturally, when I saw this, I was like, there's no way. This is too good to be true. There's no way it lasts 10 days. And there's no way a $16, yes, it costs $16, bottle of nail polish can be that much better than like an $8 drugstore brand, like Essie or OPI. But despite my better judgment, I bought it. I just, I, I had to know. I had to know. And as your resident, friendly neighborhood cheap bitch, I figured I would try it and I would compare it to your run of the mill, regular old nail polish and tell you if this is actually worth the extra money. I do quite a few of these product reviews on this channel. I like to test out products and tell you like if they're actually a good value. You know, I want you to have a good bang for your buck. I need to find a sexier way to say that. Bang for your buck. All right, that was, I'm gonna get demonetized. Anyway, um, if you like that sort of content, please consider subscribing. All right, let's do an unboxing, shall we? All right, it's a little bit of wasted space in here, but luckily everything is cardboard. It's a rather large box for two little boxes. All right, now I actually got one of their kits or they call it palettes, a palette. You get primer, base coat, and then eight different colors. Sorry, you can see it in my ring light. Ooh, the halo glow. So this is the sweater weather palette and I bought this one because it was one of their best sellers. And if I got multiple colors then I could show y'all more than one color. Now this thing is usually $55. But you know me, I waited for the Black Friday sale. So I got it for a whopping $49.50. It's like $5 off, but you know what? Every little bit helps. Now, before I paint my nails with this, the smart thing to do would be to paint my nails with a drugstore brand. And use that as my control group. So when I paint my nails with these, I can compare it to the run of the mill drugstore manicure. Oh wait. I already did that. We're gonna flash back to past Maddie. Flashback. Hello, boys and squirrels. It is I, Maddie of the past. And yes, my uh, sweatshirt is kitty cats in Christmas stockings. One of the cats is just a butt. 
<laughs> Thank you, Walmart Christmas section. Okay, I am here today to paint my nails with a drugstore nail polish to use as our control group for, you know, this very inaccurate science experiment. I decided to go with the mother of all drugstore nail polish brands. Sally Hansen. So let's get to painting. So for this experiment, I am going to be doing the most I can do to make this manicure last. So first I'm going to file my nails with my brand new glass nail file from Hollow Taco. It's an odd feeling, the glass, but it does a really good job. It's not a bad feeling, it's just different from what I've ever felt filing my nails. I don't know if you can see, but like there's a lot of nail filing dust here. All right, I'm gonna call that good and filed. And now I'm gonna go wash all the little like dusties off my fingertips. And while I am washing them, I'm gonna use some very, very warm water so I can push back my cuticles next. Now, my favorite tool to push back my cuticles is just my own thumbnail. I have orange sticks, like wooden sticks, but I find that I have more control when I'm just doing it with my own finger. Oh yeah, this one's got lots of cuticle. Gross. This one needs a little bit of cuticle remover. More Sally Hansen cuticle remover. <laughs> Now I'm just gonna wipe a little bit of acetone on a Q-tip against my nails to make sure they're really like clean. I don't know, clear? I don't know. I don't know why you do this step, but I'm doing it. Also disclaimer, I am not a professional nail tech. Obviously. All right, my nails are prepped and they are ready to be painted. Now Sally Hansen has a ton of different product lines in the drugstore. There's Color Therapy, Extreme Nails, Mega Strength Nails, Sally Hansen Pure, which is plant-based. Y'all, I don't know how that works, but I do know that science is amazing. But today I'm going to be using the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel because according to the product description, it claims our ultimate chip resistant nail polish Miracle Gel is the original no UV light at home gel polish in just two simple steps. Get an up to eight day Manny. Eight days, alrighty. So this claims to be like a gel manicure. In my experience, that has not been the case. I mean, it pretty much feels just like regular nail polish to me, but it's their like, you know, most chip resistant nail polish, so we're gonna try it. I mean, gel polish is different in the fact that it it doesn't dry unless you cure it with the UV lamp. And then as soon as you cure it with that lamp, it like hardens up immediately. And so you don't have to worry about like waiting around for your polish to dry and like accidentally chipping your nail right away in the first 10 seconds after painting it. So that's why I like gel polish. It also like, it's much thicker thicker and lasts a lot longer and is a lot shinier. I'm doing real thin coats here. How does Christine the Hollow Queen do this? She has a much better setup than I do. Now I've gotten a gel manicure at the salon. I've also done it myself at home with a UV light and gel top and base coat that I purchased from Amazon. And I'm gonna tell you right now, spoiler alert, the only time I've gotten a manicure to last 48 hours without chipping is a gel manicure. So I don't have high hopes for these brands that make these claims of eight days. I'm gonna sit here and wait 10 minutes now. Can't even twiddle my thumbs while I wait because nail polish. Oh, I forgot to mention I'm using the color 582 Ozone You Didn't. That's funny. We love a pun. We are waiting for our nails to dry. So the color and top coat cost $7.50 each. So in total, I paid $15. Also, I'm not using a base coat because on their product description, it straight up says just start with color, no base coat needed. So I'm not including a base coat. YOLO, one less coat for me. And let's say you can get like 10 manicures out of one bottle of polish if you do two coats. I did not do that math, I just Googled it. So $15 divided by 10 manicures, is about $1.50 a manicure. That's hella cheap. 
Time for my second coat. I don't know if this polish is like old, but it's getting a little lumpy. Sometimes I hold my nails upside down so all the polish like sinks to the middle, kind of evens it out. Pro tip, don't, don't take any of my tips. I am not a pro. Do you get these bubbles in this nail polish? Is that because I didn't shake it enough? Somebody with more nail painting expertise, tell me, why do I get little bubbles in my nail polish? Okay, I did a third coat pretty much on all of my nails. I let it dry for 10 minutes and now I'm going to do the top coat. My second camera, my little nail camera has died, so you're just gonna have to trust me and believe me when I say I'm doing a top coat. And I know they say like wrap the tip, that's one way to make sure your nails don't chip. Wrap the tip so your nails don't chip. But my nails are always really, really short, and so that's kind of hard to do, but I'll try my best. All right, I'm gonna wait another 10 to 15 minutes, let my nails dry, and then I will show you the final reveal. A few minutes later. Okay, so my nails have been drying for like 15 minutes, I guess. Here's the final look. Wow. Now they're kind of like, oh, this one feels pretty smooth. Some of them feel a little stiff. Sticky, which is not like, which is not really indicative of a gel manicure. Like, I have a little extra nail polish on that one. I'm, I'm not perfect at painting my nails, let's be honest. But I mean, for a dollar a manicure, it is a really pretty color. Did it go on super smoothly? Not really, but that might just be because it's an older nail polish. So that is my drugstore manicure. I will check back in with you as soon as I get the first chip on these nails. Literally the same day, just a few hours later. Not a chip, but I have a little wrinkle in this nail and a wrinkle in this nail. It's really hard to see, but two little wrinkles. This is why I wait forever for my nails to dry. 6.30 the day after, and we have our first chip. Nowhere else though. This finger looks lumpy, but no other chips, just on my right pointer finger, I mean, figures. Okay, it is the end of day three that I've had these nails on and y'all, it is not looking too good. All right, thumb is still intact. But on the left hand, we have chips on the pointer and middle finger. And then on my right hand, yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not looking so great. All right, so it is Tuesday, so that's Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five days. And uh, we are not looking good after five days. I think it is time to say goodbye to these nails. This one I actually started peeling while I was just sitting on the couch and I was just peeling away at it. Whoops. Well, it's a Thursday morning and in my shower this morning, I had some nails just jump ship on me. This one just came clean off and um, the rest are starting to peel off. So, you know, it's time. Today is the day to take these suckers off. Probably should have done it like two days ago. <laughs> End of flashback. All right, y'all, it is Thursday. We have come a full week since I last painted my nails. You wanna see the grand reveal? Ooh, wow, so beautiful. Can you imagine, wow. But obviously they did not last the eight days that Sally Hansen claimed they would last. Probably should have taken them off like after the third day. So I got like a three day wear out of these nails. So now I'm gonna take this off with some acetone and it should be very easy. I think I got everything from these bad boys. All right, now that my nails are naked, let's crack into the static nails. I'm gonna follow all the same steps as I did before. I'm gonna file my nails, wash my hands to wash off the dusties, push my cuticles back, use some cuticle remover if need be, and then dry the nail out with a little bit of acetone on a Q-tip. All right, nails are prepped. I think I'll do like several different colors, maybe a different color per nail. Why not? Our colors are primer, base coat. I already went over that. Coconut, skinny dip, Irene, sweater weather, what the palette's named for. Mood, thank you mood. 
bohemian blue. I'll do it tomorrow. Wow, that's not my color, then I don't know what is. And rob the bank. All right, so the instructions are for maximum wear. That's what we want. We want maximum wear. Step one, shake and roll each bottle before prepping your nails. To relieve on to the treatment oils and lacquer. Remove existing color with nail polish remover, wash hands, and dry. Okay, cool. I already washed my hands and removed the color. Shake, shake these bad boys. What if I just like, that's stupid. Okay. Ah, well, they're not easy to pop out. Ah, figured it out. These are little bottles. Look at how big that is. That's itty bitty. All right, step two is smooth the nails surface and increase color adhesion by applying liquid glass primer. Decent sized brush, I like the brush size. So far it feels like everyday nail polish. Oh, wait, hold on, I'm reading the tips and it says, after painting the top of your nail, wipe the brush across your fingernail to seal the free edge on every layer. So wrap the tip, that makes sense. Then the second tip is only let each layer dry for about two minutes before applying the next. Weird. Okay, so I only got two minutes to go. All right, we're gonna do coconut on my pointer finger. I think this one is like semi-sheer. Oh yeah, it's really sheer. Next nail is getting skinny dip. Oh yeah, this one's a lot less sheer. Still not totally opaque. Oh, but I do like that color. All right, the next one is Irene. That one's pretty too. And lastly, I'm gonna do sweater weather on my pinky. All right, now this is a grown up lady color right here. Guess I'll try and wrap the tip. All right, everything's falling, it's fine. All right, and there is the second coat. I think I'm gonna do maybe like a third and a fourth of this coconut one, because I don't love it. But I do really like these colors. You see all of them? <laughs> all right, left hand is done. Let's do the right hand. So far I've done Irene and Mood. Now I'm doing Bohemian Blue, like a nice slate blue. That's pretty. Moving on to I'll do it tomorrow. All right, this one is not opaque. It is sheer. It's hard to tell here that it's sheer, but yeah, that's gonna need several coats. All right, this last one is Rob the Bank. It's kind of like this like army green color. Maybe it's supposed to be like money. So this is my right hand. I will do a second coat and then a top coat and then the final reveal. 11 minutes later. Okay, my nails are done. I've sat here letting them dry for the past 15 minutes. So here is the final look. I do really like the result. My only complaints are that some of the colors were a little too sheer. I like them a little bit more opaque. Specifically coconut, I'll do it tomorrow, rob the bank, and even skinny dip. I ended up putting on a third coat. And I didn't love the little bottle size. The cap was a little hard to use and because the bottles are so little i found myself knocking them over all the time i i knocked over like three different bottles all right let's talk about price really quickly so for the sake of this experiment i'm going to calculate this manicure as if i just bought three full-sized polishes a top coat a base coat and a color and they're 16 dollars each so that would be a total of 48 dollars so after tax this is a 50 dollar manicure we apply the same math that I used before and you get 10 manicures out of this then it's about four dollars and eighty cents a manicure and my drugstore brand was only a dollar fifty so this is a whopping three dollars and thirty cents more per manicure now that doesn't sound like a lot but you know what sounds like a big price difference forty eight dollars and fifteen dollars I mean forty eight dollars is a lot more than $15, in my opinion. I will check in with y'all tomorrow or whenever I get my first chip. We'll see. I have high hopes. I really do. Please, please, Static Nails, do not squash my hopes. Thank you. All right, 24 hours later and, oop, I have food in my nail. That's gross. But, um, no 
chips in sight, y'all. Oh, there's cat hair. And uh, my right hand going strong too. So, well, at least we know it lasts one day. All right, y'all, 48 hours later, we have our first chip on my right hand, my middle finger. It's, it's minor, but it's a gateway to more chipping. Now, I know I could like seal this in, like just paint a little bit over it and seal it with some top coat to spread the, to stop the spread of the chipping, but then that, that wouldn't be good for my very scientific experiment. That would be tampering with the experiment. It's all good, the left hand. She's still spotless, beautiful, thumbs up, fantastic. Rapunzel agrees. Day three, and we have a little bit more chippage on this nail. She's not, she's not looking so great, but honestly, I mean, it's really not that bad. And it's the only nail with chipping on it. See, that's my whole right hand and my left hand. A plus plus, she's flawless. We looking good up in here. All right, y'all, it is day four and we finally have some chippage on my left hand here. So this, my pointer finger has a ton of these little mini micro abrasions. There's like a ton of little cracks up in here. And so like little pieces are starting to chip off. Uh, this one, I, my nail somehow popped out of its uh, wrapping. I don't know what's going on, but here's my middle finger. Thumb's still great. Honestly, just tiny, tiny little chips on the edges of my ring finger and my pinky on my right hand. But this guy, he's, he's not looking so good. There's a big crack there. All right, y'all, it is Tuesday night, day five. Just got out of the shower, so I'm seeing like little lifting. These, these bad boys are pretty chipped now. The thumb though, y'all, my thumbnail. This thumbnail on point. My right hand also looking a little worse for wear. This thumbnail didn't hold up as well as my left hand. Oh well, it's the right hand. What are you gonna do? Ooh. The next day. Y'all, having short hair is, you know, it's a lesson every day. I have a triangle head. This looks like a volcano. Hey y'all, it is now Thursday. We have come one full week of wearing our static nails. It's actually December 24th. It's Christmas Eve right now. I remember last Christmas Eve, I spent the whole day turning myself into a, a reindeer. That's still to this day, one of my favorite videos. I loved that. Today, I spent the whole day waiting to take a COVID test. Not waiting for my test results, waiting to take a test. Five and a half hours later, my results were negative. Anyways. All right, so it has been officially seven days. These are my day seven nails. And y'all, I hate to admit it, but these nails really lasted me. They did. This, this day seven chippage, I would say, was equivalent to like my day four, my day five of my regular Sally Hansen drugstore nails. Like my day seven Sally Hansen nails, there were whole chunks of nail just gone. But these like, although they are very chipped, I would not be embarrassed to like wear these out in public. Obviously, I've been out in public with them. Y'all, I, I really wanted these nails to fail. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. My hypothesis was that the $16 bottle of nail polish wouldn't be much better than, you know, $7.50 drugstore nail polish, but I was wrong. They definitely lasted longer. I wouldn't say they lasted 10 days like they claim to last, but I think if you touch up like here and there, like on day three, I had a little bit of a chip in one of my nails. If I had just touched it up then, I think I could have gone seven days with a full like no chipped manicure. So in my very scientific conclusion, I would say static nails is not worth the $16 price tag, but but if you can wait until they're having a sale and you can get a bottle for $12.80, buy it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like me to try any other weird, wacky, expensive nail brands or beauty brands, let me know down in the comments. Please consider subscribing and maybe I'll make another video. Maybe. Just maybe. Okay. Bye, y'all.
My ring light's in the way. I know, I put on a ton of makeup today. All right, bye y'all.